Hello guys and uh, welcome to this uh, continuation um, of this uh, February March 2017 IGCSE ICT paper 3. Um, so in this video like I promised I'll start on um, step number four and then we're going to cruise through and see how far we can go in this uh, video. Okay so step number four says using the most appropriate image from M17 image 1 dot jpg to image uh, rather to m17 image 8 dot jpg place in cell um, see the image of a meal being cooked the image of an elephant ride in d and the image of a jungle in e and image of an envelope in cell f now uh, just a quick comment on this one guys that you're supposed to really um, look for the correct image otherwise you're going to lose marks okay so there is uh, about two marks that are located here for you to trace the correct images okay and um, if you miss uh, one image here and you may lose a single mark or two or so okay so please don't be in a hurry and if you cannot see the image properly I'll show you a better way of finding these images okay so let's go ahead and insert these images so the first one C is an image um, um, C is supposed to be image so C is this one so C D E F so these are the cells that are actually um, here so we're supposed to put C um, image of um, a meal being cooked so go to insert picture and then hold control key on your keyboard and if you're using um, a desktop computer you can roll up the wheel on your mouse and then you zoom in okay so you need to zoom in if you are using a mouse um, you can come here and um, let me see okay here you're just going to see some icons and stuff um, but um, there is a way that you can zoom in on the mouse as well um, most mouse they've got um, on the touchpad there you will find um, some um, I don't know what to call it <laughs> <laughs> okay so um yeah so what i what i what i want is to zoom in and look out for the image of a meal being cooked let's find out if there's something delicious cooking okay it looks okay <laughs> okay so that's the meal there and then the next one was supposed to be image of an elephant right and um so you zoom in now this is not image of an elephant right guys be serious <laughs> You don't see anybody riding on this <laughs> this car wooden thing. I don't know if it's wooden or what. Okay, this is where the elephant ride is. I think the examiner report also indicated that some people were using this one because you just saw this as the first image of an elephant and said, "Ah, this must be an elephant ride." <laughs> and the others would even use this one. This is not an elephant, guys. It's a light truck. <laughs> okay and this is not even an elephant right okay so let's be serious when we uh, do this so zoom in as much as you can if you're not able to have a clear uh, view of the pictures select the image the appropriate image and all the next one is supposed to be image of the jungle zoom in and you notice that this is typical jungle here and let's get that and lastly it's supposed to be image of an envelope and there you go this is the image of an envelope okay right so the next part of the question tells us um, that's uh, question five it says make sure appropriate text is displayed if any image is not available now this one says any image so it doesn't just include these four images that we've added here it also includes the logo image Guys, this is very important. The examiner report also indicated that most candidates, they were able to insert alternative Im uh, text for, this, uh, for these images here, but they forgot to insert also alternative text for um, the logo. Okay, So that made that you had zero here. Even if you included all the marks um, in the uh, alternative text here, if you included um, the text here and you forgot to include on the logo, it means you didn't get this mark correct that's how bad this is okay so let's go ahead and include um, alternative text for every image in um, in the web page so picture properties go to general and type image of company logo okay very important 
um next one picture properties general image um image of um a meal being cooked okay so next one picture properties general and let's say image of an elephant right okay and this one is image of the jungle so let's say image of the jungle and lastly is supposed to be image of an envelope okay image of an envelope okay right so let's go next step step six in cell um in cell g enter the text local cooking in cell h enter the text elephant rights in cell i enter the text remote jungle location and in cell j enter the text contact us okay so let's go ahead and do that so image um rather cell g um, which is this one is we're supposed to enter the text local cooking and then next we're supposed to enter elephant rights now guys this is very important let me just go back here notice that i put capital c where there's supposed to be small letter c you're supposed to put um the uh, um the uppercase and lowercase just as they are okay so don't just type anything as long as it's read the same way <laughs> you're supposed to make sure that where there's capital is supposed to be put capital where there's small letter is supposed to put small letter so this is remote um remote supposed to start with capital r remote um supposed to be remote jungle um jungle location i think yeah remote jungle location and the last one was supposed to be just contact us okay so make sure that you proofread you go through the text you don't want to lose a mark here okay you don't want to lose a mark here so you make sure you go through the text the spellings both for this one and this one you need to make sure that the spellings are 100 percent correct and then the uh, um, capitalization is 100 percent correct uh, correct not correct correct <laughs> correct and then also you're supposed to make sure that um 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 spacings and everything else is perfectly fine so let's go ahead and um change here um so we set this as style um two okay so let's set it as style two all right um heading two that should be fine um let's go back to the question step number seven place in cell okay the text page created for hot house design followed by or rather designed by then followed by your name center number and candidate number so this is supposed to be as it is so if it's in bold it's supposed to be as it is where there's capital letter put capital letter where there's small letter put small letter so i've copied it as it is and i'm going to put by chikasa um evans um then zm 556 and lastly my candidate number and set this as style h2 okay so it's not supposed to be bold but set it as style h2 h3 rather um let's just verify that so we set it as style h3 okay so now notice that this one is bold it's not supposed to be bold and this one is bold um no it's supposed to be bold because it's coming from the heading okay heading one is bold by default okay so don't 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 change this so this is um heading three heading three is also bold by default okay right so the next thing that we're supposed to do is now create um whether we center align the table in the browser so let's come back here right click um on the table go to table properties and go to alignment and make it center apply and you see the table is centered next which is step eight uh, step nine create a hyperlink from the image of the envelope to send an, em an email message to 
just at cie.org.uk okay with subject line book me a visit now guys what is important is that you're supposed to send um, uh, rather to create the hyperlink from the correct image this is very important so make sure it's correct image make sure it's correct email address and make sure it's correct um, subject line with the exclamation mark at the end there because some candidates according to the examiner report forgot the exclamation mark and they lost the mark so out of five they got four maybe okay so it's very important that you type it as it is remember if it is in bold Evans Chikasa's rule if it is in bold type it as it is no fancy 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 way of typing it anything okay so let's go ahead and just do that so from the um, here we're going to um, create a hyperlink and it's supposed to be an email hyperlink it's supposed to go to um, GES um, and then at cie.org.uk and then that is the email address and then the subject where we're supposed to type it as it is the subject is supposed to be book a or rather book me a visit okay with an exclamation mark at the end okay and say okay and so this one has been turned into an email hyperlink okay so next one is attach the style sheet m17 cs uh, m17 ss dot css to the web page and save this web page okay so let's go ahead and attach the style sheet so go to format and style sheet links and then add style sheet um, then go to um, the location where you have your style sheet uh, mine is here in s files and this is the style sheet in question just attach it and say okay and notice how the layout for the heading here has been centered and the text color has been changed as well for all the text um, around and so that should be perfectly fine okay so guys i'm gonna have to stop in this video um, here and um, in the next video we are going to start with step number 11 which has to do with the style sheet and it will be the last um, segment of the video that we'll be doing and then we'll call it a day for um, web authoring section I hope I'll have enough time to do the recording for the entire paper before my wife gives me a call <laughs> okay so that I go home because I'm still at the office um, around this time it's just about um, 1614 in the afternoon okay so let me see you in the next video and um, don't forget to share and like this video and also subscribe to my channel okay so see you shortly in the next video